up? It's your girl Simone Cherise. Welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, we're going to be doing a wig install with my first wig. Um, I am going to show you guys how I installed this unit. Really love it. Perfect for the summer. And I showed you guys how I got it to be nice and tamed as far as my curls and did the whole no baby hair thing. So I'll let up a little bow wow. To get started with this video, I'm going to start off by just oiling my scalp. By the way, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe, thumbs up, like this video. So I'm going to start off with the natural pure avocado oil. And um, I'm just going to actually just put this into my scalp. And then use my hands, kind of moisturize it in. Whenever you leave your hair super dry underneath your wigs, your hair is going to break off, especially in this back area where the stocking cap or the headband may be rubbing against the back of your hairline. So just try to keep it moisturized. Now for the hairline, I don't like to put a lot of oil there because um, it'll be harder to stick as far as the wig and the hairspray. I like to use a blow dryer, just make sure the oil is in my scalp, seep in, and not as wet. I wish I had a dryer sometimes so I could just sit underneath it and let the oil seep into my scalp, but I don't, so. I'm gonna be using a stocking cap. Um, I'm gonna be doing this just because it, it's so much more easier to stick my braids underneath and my hair is obviously fuzzy, as you can see, so it kind of helps to pull my hair back. I'm not gonna be gelling this down to my skin because I'm just so over those days. So the knots on this wig needed to be bleached, okay? However, I'm not going to be bleaching it today, but I want to show you guys how it looks up close. All those little black dots, you can see that it needs to be bleached, but my little DIY technique makes it easy to avoid bleaching. So I'm going to be using my Black Radiance Contour Palette, and I'm going to be using the Sculpt color right here. I'm going to take a fluffy brush, dip it into the contour this is inside the unit now i do want to point out that the lace is darker than usual like usually when i use my first wigs the lace is very light for this one it's the perfect skin color for me so it sucks that i have to actually still use the powder because the knots weren't bleached so but that's okay that's the least of our worries i'm gonna just go ahead and take this brush and just fluff it all over the knots and then you'll see that the knots will technically start to blend in and look like they're not black anymore. Next you want to go ahead and just place the wig onto your head. They did give me a headband inside, which is actually perfect. A lot of times when these companies give me um, headbands, the headband is way too thick and it sits on the back of my ear. And it sits on the back of my ear and ends up being very painful. So the fact that this one is very thin in size, it's not as wide as they usually give me. Um, it's thinner. That helps a whole lot, okay? <laughs> Uh, there is lace on the back, so go ahead and cut that off. If not, it will be super itchy. I really, 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 really love this cut. <laughs> so I can't wait for it to be finished. I can show you guys the end result. Well, and so I can see it too. Duh. First things first, get the part situated. They already gave me a pre-plucked, a pre-part. It was already pre-parted when I got it, but sometimes I have to make my own changes to it. my hot comb to just flatten out so my favorite thing to use to help assist in making my parts is mousse I actually just bought this one yesterday it was $4.29 I'll try to find it on Amazon for you guys but usually I cannot find this brand there but I will try so this one is a maximum shine and wave and it helps for giving incredible body and shine. So this is how it looks. Alright, so 
for this part right here, actually for the entire hairline, I'm going to just scoop out some hair. They gave me an edge control brush, so we're going to go ahead and use that. spray and just blow dry it so as you guys know I just sprayed the hairline and then I blow dry it and then stuck down in place that's what I'm gonna do today razor to just cut my lace. I did pluck my part a little bit wider because I really needed to. It was just way too skinny for my liking. So now I'm gonna go in, go in with my L'Oreal True Match foundation, and I'm gonna use a very slim top looking brush. So you see how like sharp it is. You can use a smaller brush too if you have it, but this is the quickest thing that I have in front of me, so I'm gonna go ahead and use it. Dab a little bit on my hand so that it's not too wet. Okay, so wrong foundation color. <laughs> I'm gonna dab it out a little bit so it's not as wet, not as orange and bright looking. I'm actually gonna try now. <laughs> I might have to try this one, this brown. And then I'm going to use my finger to just kind of dry it out a little bit. What I do want to do is, I actually don't need any baby hairs for this one. Okay, so this is it wet on this side, and this is it dry on this side. So you can see how it looks when it's wet, when it's dry. You get both feels, but it is a very pretty curl though. Really like it. I'm actually gonna go ahead and wet both sides. So, all right, guys. So this is my end result right here. Absolutely loved it, especially after it dried. Now this is it looking tamed. Okay, tamed. Again, I didn't do any baby hair, as you can see. So definitely an option for you if you wanted to baby hair. Go ahead, girl. Slay. <laughs> mm -hmm. 